Hi everybody, it's Joanne here with a work in progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul. You may uh, not quite recognize the background. Uh, we're down in Florida this weekend uh, in Inverness in the house down here and I am going to take you on a little tour uh, later on in the day. But first I wanted to share with you the few things that I picked up while I was here this weekend. I'll start with a couple of pieces of clothing and with a purse and then we'll get into the hard goods. And this little backpack here is in super good shape. Uh, I, don't even, I don't know who makes it, actually didn't matter to me. I just thought this would be really great for traveling and such. And this was half price originally, $4, so I got it for two. So I was pretty excited to get that. This will be going back with me to North Carolina. And then I picked up two pieces of clothing. I realized when I got down here, as I don't bring clothes back and forth with me, the intention was to have enough things down here that I didn't have to do that. I realized when I got here, I don't have a whole lot of clothes here. So I was gonna go to the bins up in Ocala, you know, the Goodwill outlets. And I looked on the website and they were closed on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I thought that's kind of crazy to be closed over the weekend, but they were, so I didn't get to go. But I did pick up this nice striped button down. This is from Beach Lunch Lounge Collection. I've never heard of that one. But I just thought it was a really nice uh, shirt and um, I can use this as a kind of a cover up over just a little white cami or something when it starts to get cool down here. <laughs> Somebody needs to tell Florida it's almost October. They need to turn the heat down because it's so hot. Um, but that's Florida, right? And then I uh, got this just kind of to wear around the house. I liked the print on it. Um, there, were, I don't think there was any markings in here. No, I couldn't find any label as to who made it or what the size was or anything, but it fit and that was the important thing. So this will be nice just to, you know, like I said, wear around the house while I'm um, doing puttering around kind of thing. Next we go on to the hard goods. I think I found some pretty cool things. I didn't get a lot, but I like what I got. Um, first, I picked up this juice reamer from Senco. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to, you might be able to see it there. It has a plastic uh, lid on it and the glass bottom. For some reason, I was thinking these were really good. Uh, well, maybe not really good, but good for resale. I couldn't find any at all listed on, on eBay, but I bought it with the intention of reselling it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway. This little piece I picked up for, for my daughter, and hopefully she won't watch this video. She is graduating college next year, so I picked up this adorable little milk glass. Owl. It's from Avon and it has a little, look at him, he has a little graduate cap on. I could not pass this little guy up. I didn't get him because he was Avon or Milk Glass. I got him because he was an owl with a little tassel on him. He's just so adorable. So we won't tell her. And then um, this little guy is another Avon piece, another little owl. I just thought he was super, super cute. And he, I'm just going to use him for decor. I thought he was really cute. Um, oh, and <laughs> look at this what I got. Um, I guess it's I guess it's a selfie stick, but uh, I plan on using it actually this afternoon when I do the tour of the house. Um, my hands are not, you know, they can be a little shaky sometimes, but for some reason and I did practice on this, the videos are a lot smoother and not as shaky. So we'll be using that this afternoon on the house tour. Uh, this piece I picked up, I'm honestly not sure if I am going to keep it myself or resell it. I do have a piece very similar to it. It is a bro uh, Brody milk glass piece, and it has got just um, leaves around the outside of it with a scallop detail uh, on the edge here. It also has some detailing around the footed bottom in beautiful condition. There's not a chip or a nick on it. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. And then I picked up, gosh, I think it was it's either six or eight of these. And I can't prepare this time, guys. These are from Corning. 
I tried looking them up. I found one other listing with this pattern on it. Uh, they did not have the name of the pattern in their listing. If anybody happens to know what this is, if you could leave it in the comments down below, I would greatly appreciate it. They're in beautiful condition. All of the pattern on all of the cups is in perfect condition. Nothing at all wrong with them. So these are definitely going to be for resale. Then I also, these I think are my first, oh, uh, Federal, is that what that is? The F, you see that? Pieces, uh, I think there are six or seven of these. And they're just little dipping bowls with really pretty, it's a, it's a very muted red floral pattern around the edge of them. Uh, these, I did find somebody had these listed on eBay, but theirs was a brown, I believe. And this is definitely a light red. It is not a brown in there. All of the pieces were in perfect condition. And these are actually the first federal pieces that I've ever picked up, so I was kind of excited about that. Got these. I think these are Corning as well. Yes, they are. And they are M Wave OK. <laughs> and they have homemade on the one side and Farm Fresh on the other. I think there were six of these. I thought they were absolutely adorable. And then in another thrift shop that I went into, and I could kick myself for not getting it because they're not open on Sundays, uh, they had, I think, the picture to this and some other pieces with this, this same marking on it. I'm pretty certain they're not open on Sundays. I may, on my way out of town, uh, driving to Tampa to catch the, my plane, I may try and um, just see if they're open. <clears throat> um, oh, I also got these Blendo glasses. They're stemware with the gold rim on them. There were six of them, uh, two yellow, two blue, two, was it red or orange? It might have been eight. Now, actually, I can't remember, but they're all in beautiful, beautiful condition. All the gold edging on them is in perfect condition. These I am not going to risk bringing back to North Carolina with me because I actually flew this time and had a checked bag and I am so scared of these getting broken in the process of you know being loaded and unloaded and such. So I'm just going to leave these babies down here until uh, hopefully I'll come back down again Thanksgiving and I'll pick them up then because I'll be driving. Then I've seen uh, Scott on the old Curiosity Shop. He uh, gets a bunch of... Uh, old Christmas ornaments and I found just for the heck of it I thought I'd give it a shot so I found this bag of ornaments and there were four in here that were I mean they're just plastic they're nothings really uh, where's the other one here I think this is it no that's actually that's not it there is another one in here that was that was a kind of a nothing but it turned out these are Rauch, R-A-U-C-H, and they're all in beautiful condition. Um, this little guy here, and then there are a couple of stars, red, and there's a silver and a green star, and then a couple of these kind of teardropped. There's a green and a silver one. And that's, yep, yeah, that's it. There's another, I mean, there's another red bulb and a green bulb. And then I'll just show you the rest of them. There's two more. There's that green star. Well, I'm calling it a star. And that one. Yeah, these are glass. Very, very delicate glass. And this, I do not think was it was anything. No, wait, this does have, uh, I'm not sure on that one. I just can't imagine that that might be something, but I'll have to look at that one a little bit more closely. And then, guys, the only other two pieces that I got was, for all you John Deere lovers out there, it's a John Deere planter. It's got the little thing inside of it. And it says John Deere licensed product. It was from 2005. Uh, licensed product with permission from Sagebrush Fine Art. So 
I know there's a John Deere lover out there that is going to want this. And also, is a picnic caddy with John Deere on it as well. So you put your napkins and then knives, forks, and spoons. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I got that as well. The inside is a galvanized metal. Uh, that one's an inside, inside is, ooh, sorry about that, is a galvanized metal as well. Um, so I think somebody will like those. That's it, guys. It was a very small haul, but I'm happy with the things that I picked up. Um, let me see, my favorite piece, well, okay, I have to say my favorite piece is the piece that I got for my daughter <laughs> for graduation. He's just so adorable, and I'm so excited for her graduation next year. Um, my brother, hopefully, is going to be coming down. He hasn't been here, well, in North Carolina here, for three years. Uh, he came for her graduation when she graduated from high school, and that's the last time he's been down here there to, Florida, to North Carolina. So um, we have to find out when she's graduating so he can make his travel plans and all of that. So I'm very excited um, for that. Uh, in the comments below, as always, let me know what your favorite piece was. And if anybody can tell me the name of that pattern, that would be fabulous. And if you happen to know what that one is too, that would be very helpful as well. Um, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like videos such as this for hauls and home decor and such, I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and community. Um, and until later this afternoon, guys, when I'm going to do a downstairs home tour of the Florida house, take very good care of yourselves, and I will see you very shortly.